Well, hello there. Welcome back to my Rogue Legacy walkthrough. I am Mitchell from Gamefront. In the last video, we defeat Herodotus. We have one more boss to go. We've defeated all four bosses of the castle, the forest, the tower, and the dungeon. And now we've uh, we've opened the final door. So, let us pick a character here. I don't like any of these, really. But I'll take Lady Blair the Fourth, the Barbarian Queen, because she is the most normal out of everyone. And can we finish off our... Our thing here? No, we don't have quite enough money. Damn it. That's a bummer. We can get... Uh, let's upgrade... Yeah. Let's upgrade Haggle. Let's upgrade some health. I think that's good. Bar, 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 bar. All right, shall we do it? I think we should. So now we're going through the same area that we went through at the very beginning of the game. The same Grey Knight. Ooh, it takes a lot more hits to kill. And even the same tutorial messages. Just in case it wasn't immediately clear uh, where you were. Today marks the rest of eternity. I never knew what treasure lay in this castle. Just that it would cure the king of his illness. Who would have known it would have been the fountain, the fountain of youth. A myth which grants one eternal life. As I looked down on the body of the king, I realized that it is inevitable. Children will always answer for, answer for their father's sins. I enter this castle a swordsman, a savior. But all I have left is a rogue's legacy. I can feel your anger, but no, it was not I who sent your family to ruin. The moment the king set foot within this castle, the royal coffers were emptied by Charon. My family, all families, had lost all hope for a better life. And in my mind's eye, I foresaw only desperation and poverty ravage the country. There was nothing for me to go back to. To my children, and my children's children, here I sit, impassive, immortal, and await thee. Bum, bum, bum. Johannes! Let's do it, Johannes! Why do you wish to fight me? How many sons and daughters have been lost in your pathetic attempts at revenge? It was the king who brought ruin to your country, not I! He lied to us. He said he was wounded, yet it was only time that threatened him. He pitied his children against- he pitied his children against one another. Sacrificed everything to satisfy his own selfish desires. And in the end, left us penniless and alone. So I took the only option left to me. I rejected king and country, and chose a new family instead. The traitor, Johannes. Okay, so, he fights a lot like us. Except he has a lot of axes that he uses. Lots and lots of axes, and he's hitting me with all of them. And he uses those blade walls. Well, ow, this is failures all over the place. Let's see if we can keep him jumping. I'm fine with that. This is good. We can keep him doing this stuff. Not just rush into him like that. Come on, jump. Come on, jump again. I like when you jump. Do that more. Oh! Jump! His sword is a longer range than mine. Come 
go. There we go. Alright. Uh huh. So far, so good. Oh, fuck. Got hit by an axe. It's the last second. Alright. Let's go with a spell sword. Spell sword with uh, ambivalus or whatever the thing that lets you, uh, that makes you fail at putting down swords. At least uh, with the spell sword or the blade wall. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be very precise. Alright, so let's try this one more time. What do I have? Dementia? I didn't even realize. Okay. Spells come out your back. Nah, 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 whatever. I made mean, a new family instead. A traitor, Johannes. Come on. Alright, so I'm, my goal here is not to get hit. Again, because now I remember how to beat how to beat this uh, this first phase. Spoiler alert: this is only the first phase. Uh, as you can tell from those things on the wall, you're gonna need to use those eventually. Oh god, this is not happening. So much for not wanting to take a, a hit. He killed me. Lady Winry was not good enough. We got a Hokage. All right, let's do it. You gotta love the Okages. All right, and like I did with the uh, the last one. Oh, look, I have a, a big sword. Am I? I'm not in gigantism, is am I? It does look like I have a sword equally equally as long. All right, let's do it. Come on. Range is huge against, against Johannes. Oh. What the fuck? No, you don't. Now comes the tough part. Alright, so we do have an interesting ability here, though. We have the uh, translocator, which should help us out a bit here. So let's do this. Get over Ow, I didn't think it was all the way over there. Okay. Put this right there. Fine right here. Fine right here. Fine right here. What's he doing now? Okay. That's why that is an interesting move to have. guys. I thought I was going to have it. Oh, assassin. This is what we want. This is, in my opinion, the best class to take on Johannes. And uh, Gigantism. That's also a really good thing to have. Here's the little Bowel Syndrome also. 
Uh, never mind, that's completely useless. But the good thing about uh, Gigantism is that you have a long range, and you can outrange Johannes pretty easily in this first phase. And if you can outrange him, he won't hit you with his sword, which is the hardest one to avoid. See, the knives are easy to avoid. The sword, the blade wall is easy to avoid. Axes are easy to avoid. It's just timing your attack so that you outrange him. Oh. Come on. And you are dead. You are dead. Dead, dead. You think you have slain me? I have lived for over a thousand years, and I will live for ten thousand more. Alexander, Kidder, Ponce de Leon. I was not the first hero to reach the fountain, but I will be the last. All that. So the good thing about the assassin is that if it looks like you are going to get hit by those those swords, just phase out. That was close. Oh no! Oh god! Here. Come on. Phase out. Out. Unfortunately, I don't have that much mana anymore. Fuck. Ah, didn't have enough mana. All right, one more try. Paladin, Paladin. Let's go with a Paladin with nothing. Alright, if we can't do it on this one, uh, we'll try to do it on the next one. I think we can beat this game at level 79. You, can see, you saw I got really close that one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're jumping in, I dare you. Back away. The really nice thing about him is that he doesn't attack when he jumps. He only just throws axes. No, you don't. Here. Now, I've never really used the Paladin Shield. I'm not sure how good it is at blocking some of those uh, projectiles that he has once he hits the fountain. I guess I can try it. Come on. I think I'm. Still within the amount of health that I'll regain once he he dies. Oh, that should have hit you. Oh, Jesus Christ! What is going on here? Not anymore. I'm no longer in that health range. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sweet food! Okay. Oh, damn it.
Okay, so that actually works pretty well. It takes uh, 25 health away, but that's, that's cool. Oh, I gotta stop doing that, though. That's the easiest thing to avoid. It hits me every... That shouldn't have hit me. That should not have hit me. Oh. I mean, it makes me want to try again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna try again. I feel like I got robbed. I don't like colorblind, but... I don't really want to use a, a Hokage here. Last try, I promise. Da, 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 da. Why is your sword so much bigger than mine? Oh. Damn it. I just had a bigger sword. I need a Hokage with gigantism. Oh, too much range. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.